what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 wwe returns that were genuine surprises this year has been a very interesting year for um just wwe returns in general um obviously the the biggest one that a lot of people are going to be talking about for a while is cm punk returning back to wwe many people did not think it was going to happen people speculated but people didn't really think that was a possibility and it actually happened so it's, it's just one of those type of things where a good return can sometimes reset like the whole landscape for wwe or aew or just wrestling in general it's like a a hard reset like when bray wyatt returned at extreme rules rest in peace bray that was such a adult moment because you know a lot of fans you know felt some type of way with the way he got released from wwe and then for him to come back the way he did and the excitement it brought was just great it's like a hard reset depending on the star or wrestler that does return it, it brings that more that extra excitement to potential feuds and storylines so we're gonna check out some of the best genuine surprises that people didn't really know or weren't too sure about appreciate all love and support you guys have shown on the channel let's get right into this due to the rise in social media and digital news it's hard to keep a return in pro wrestling a top secret several returns over the past decade or so have been leaked online and this mm -hmm. has ultimately ruined the complete surprise that wwe had in store for fans due to this wwe must now take special measures in order to keep returns top secret yeah and it's difficult for them to succeed at this as there are molds just about everywhere However, WWE have managed to bring numerous wrestlers back without a single report of the planned return leaking online. Yeah. And this in turn has made the return memorable for all the right reasons. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE returns that were genuine surprises. Subscribe to WrestleMania if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Christian Royal Rumble 2021. Mm. Due to the 2021 Royal Rumble taking place in the Thunderdome, fans expected there to be a lack of surprise returns in the matchup. Due to there being no physical fans in attendance, the match and any planned returns were going to be difficult to execute correctly, but to WWE's credit, they did a fantastic job under difficult circumstances. Yeah. One of the surprise returns on the show that nobody saw coming was the return of Christian. Mm -hmm. Christian had seemingly retired from pro wrestling and it was reported that he would never wrestle again. Therefore, when the former world champion entered the Rumble match, fans were utterly speechless. Now, that Christian was a good return. that he still had it and even had a memorable interaction with his best friend, Edge. I just wish there was a crowd there for that. Oh, that, oh, I wish it was a crowd there for that. It would have been a, a cool moment. Appearing on the bump, Christian revealed that he only found out about the return a few days before the event. I found out about the return at 7.30 on Friday night and it was a well win from there. In hindsight, I would have liked a little more time being able to get in the ring and things like that, but it also gave me, I was nervous when I got the call. Where's my gear? These are the things I have to find. Wow. Once I started he didn't even together, know. <laughs> there was no time to think. I had so much to do to prepare on Saturday. Then we all went in the arena on Sunday and I was surprisingly calm. But not having stepped foot in the ring for seven years, there were no nerves. This was what I was born to do. Number nine, Carlito Backlash 2023. The 2023 Backlash this was event a cool received one too. rave reviews from fans. The event took place in Puerto Rico and the crowd was one of the liveliest, most engaging crowds imaginable. Mm -hmm. During the acclaimed Bad Bunny vs. Damian Priest cool matchup, moment. Carlito made a surprise return and he received the ovation yeah, of a lifetime. That shit was so it was cool. completely unexpected and it literally broke Twitter as fans yeah. were in total disbelief that the former US and Intercontinental Champion was back in WWE. That shit was so Due cool. to the overwhelmingly positive response to his return, WWE offered Carlito a full-time return contract, which thankfully he accepted and he looks like the popular star will be having one more run in wwe before he hangs up his boots for good which i i'm, Number eight, I'm all Nia for jack's raw 2023 and wwe managed to keep Nia jack's return to wwe top secret which for a return happening i don't know how many people were actually excited about this but yes they they did do a good job of keeping this very secret secretive not many people knew granted i don't think many people cared but that's a discussion for another day. <laughs> on Raw SmackDown is very hard to do. Every week before each of WWE's flagship shows, a rundown is released online, and this usually contains any planned returns or cameos, but Jax's return wasn't remotely leaked. 
She will return during the Rhea Ripley vs Raquel Rodriguez matchup and whilst there were some questions surrounding why WWE had decided to bring back the controversial figure, it was certainly appreciated that WWE had managed to keep the return under wraps. Number yeah. 7, John Cena Money in the Bank 2021 and 2023. Yeah. John Cena is the undisputed king of surprise returns as he's managed to return time and time again without it being known in advance. Every fan recalls Cena's return mm -hmm. in the 2008 Royal Rumble. That was a good even one. Even in the age of social media, Cena has been able to make a surprise return without a single person knowing about it. At the 2021 Money in the Bank event, this was Roman so Reigns good. had just defeated yeah. the Edge in the main event. And this was when Cena returned to confront the Tribal Chief. Oh my god, Cena that was so good. Cena arguably received the largest ovation of his entire career, as every single fan in attendance was delighted to see one of the greatest of all time. Fast forward to the 2023 Money in the Bank event This was a good one too. Cena did it yet again. During the show, Cena's iconic music will begin to play. It was wonderful to see in the UK mm -hmm. fans let Cena know how appreciated he was. And it was truly a moment that the fan base will never, ever forget. And it's really good, the fact that they were able to pull those genuine surprises from a very big star like John Cena and no one saw it coming. Kudos. Kudos to WWE on that one, man. Number six, Brock Lesnar SummerSlam 2021. This is another After good one, bro. John Cena in the main event of SummerSlam <laughs> in 2021. Dub didn't like this one as well. The <laughs> were in for a total shock. This is when Brock Lesnar's shocked. music hit. There were no reports that Lesnar was returning to WWE. In fact, there were rumors that Lesnar may have been completely done with the company. Uh -huh. Lesnar returned as a babyface to confront Reigns and Paul Heyman, and it was a magical moment that would plant the seeds for WWE's next top feud. One of the reasons why the surprise return was so well received and so fondly remembered mm -hmm. was because Lesnar's subsequent run was arguably one of the finest runs of Lesnar's entire career. I know someone's going to send this to Dub because you guys are messy, but I'm impartial. I'm impartial. I can I can give honest criticism and praise when it's deserved. I'm not going to lie to you. His his run when he came back as the babyface Without Paul Heyman, it actually worked. The WrestleMania match wasn't as good, but I think that was due to, I think Roman had ended up, he was injured, so they had to kind of call an audible. But their last man standing match was fantastic at SummerSlam. So, I mean, it worked. He, he actually seemed more, it seemed like he was enjoying himself more out there. Without Paul Heyman, he has to carry the promos. He has to carry the 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 interviews and the backstage segments like you know it's not just him destroying people in the ring he actually actually have some charisma and it actually worked i know dub's not gonna like this but it worked it worked it wasn't boring it, it, it actually worked and we end up getting one of the best last man standing matches of all time now then, his feud with Cody, even though the matches were good, it didn't make a lick of sense either, but that's neither here nor there. But either way, him coming back to confront Roman actually worked. Yeah, Lesnar's work as a baby face was excellent, and he managed to show the fans a brand new side of him that had never been seen on WWE TV. Number five, The Rock, Raw 2011. WWE announced this was a major really name really would be hosting one. WrestleMania 27. There were Hell, when he returned this year, that was... People knew he was in the area, but no one thought he was actually going to be on the show. Rumors circulating that it was going to be pop megastar Justin Bieber. However, when the guest host was revealed to be the great one himself, The Rock, fans were amazed. Mm -hmm. WWE had managed to keep The Rock's return from leaking online, and the reaction from the audience on Raw when he returned was without question one of the loudest ovations in WWE history. According to The Rock himself during an interview with Entertainment Weekly, his 2011 Raw return was the greatest moment he had ever experienced on WWE's premiere no, show. This show was it's fantastic, a charged excitement bro. standing backstage and knowing that there is a great anticipation in the mm -hmm. air. There were probably 18,000 people hanging on every minute before the big announcement happened. So now the challenge for me is to have fun and electrify and entertain the audience. And he did. I did a 20, 25 minute monologue. When my music hit going out, it was incredible. The night was the greatest raw moment I've ever experienced. And that's saying a lot. I've had the privilege to work with a lot of icons in WWE. Mm -hmm. The goosebumps never left my body during that monologue. Oh my Number god. Number four, bro. Roman so Reigns dope. at SummerSlam 2020. This was WWE good too. WWE marketed the 2020 SummerSlam with the tagline, you'll never see it coming. And, and they were spot on with this. We did The event featured the surprise <laughs> return of Roman so Reigns. Good. Reigns took a step back from WWE during the pandemic. Oh due my to god. I just, we just didn't know he was going to hold the championship for the next three years. But nevertheless, it was a good moment. <laughs> 
Returns, and it wasn't remotely hinted or rumored that Reigns oh. would be making his return at the SummerSlam event. Reigns would return following the main event, Rest attacking peace, the Fiend and Braun Strowman before holding the Universal title high in the air. This return was game-changing, as Reigns mm, returned mm. with a completely new character, and WWE had finally pulled the trigger on Reigns being a top heel in the and company. Worked, Number bro. three, the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania this 33. One deserves to be well, there too. Counting down the biggest crowd ovations in WrestleMania history, the Hardy Boys' surprise return at WrestleMania 33 has to be towards the top of the list. The duo returned to be part of a multi-team ladder match, and their ovation was truly insane. Fantastic. Rumor that the two may potentially be WWE bound, it was never expected that the two would make their return at nope. WrestleMania, especially because Matt and Jeff had wrestled the night prior in an action-packed match against the Young Bucks. Mm -hmm. According to Matt Hardy, to prevent the return leaking out, he used social media to his advantage and used an old picture to pretend that the duo were flying home. This managed to fool the majority of fans as they took Hardy's social smart. media posts as face value and assumed that he and Jeff wouldn't be part of WrestleMania. Number two, Shane McMahon, Raw 2016. This was another great Upon one. Stephanie McMahon <laughs> being announced as a recipient of so the Vincent good, J. McMahon man. Legacy of Excellence Award. Before he started taking over the show and then proclaimed himself as the best in the world and inserted himself in the best in the world tournament. That Before that, this Shane, when he first came back, Oh, such a cool moment, man. Nobody could have ever anticipated this to be the segment in which Shane McMahon would make his dramatic return to WWE programming. There was a state of shock that fell over the fan base as the Raw return wasn't even rumored. In fact, yeah. there was nothing remotely indicating that nope. Shane was on his way back to WWE. This marked his first appearance in almost seven years, and the main purpose of his return was to build towards a WrestleMania mm -hmm. 32 showdown with The Undertaker. Despite the storyline with Taker being overly complicated, it's it too complicated. how special Shane's initial return ended up being. And WWE deserve a ton of credit for managing to avoid such a significant return from leaking out. And number one, Edge, Royal Rumble 2020. Ah, the Hall of Famer Edge had seemingly retired from pro wrestling so in 2011. It was ruled that Edge shouldn't even take a bump ever again, never mind a full-blown wrestling match. So, so good, when his trademark man. theme hit at 2020's oh, World Rumble, fans oh my God. lost their mind. I lost the my rated mind, too. The superstar and multi-time world champion was back, and he wasn't wasting a single second as Edge hit Spears left, right, and center. Even though I, I did hear rumors about this, like people were talking and speculating that Edge was going to be in the Royal Rumble that year. So, I, I think it's... It deserves to be on the list. I don't know if this would be number one because I remember watching videos of people talking about, yeah, Edge may, there's a good chance Edge will be there or whatnot. But at the same time, I just wasn't 100% sure. I just wasn't sure. But when his music hit, the it it, it hit me. It hit me. I, I, I got goosebumps, man. <laughs> it was a special moment that was hard to watch without being emotional. Due to Edge being one of the biggest names of all time, WWE went to extreme lengths to prevent his return leaking out, and Edge went into detail in relation to this during an interview with ESPN. I talked to Triple H, Paul Levesque, and said, I can't go to a ring anywhere because people will start seeing me. I can't go to the PC, so they sent me a ring. I got a warehouse wow. space and I set up a ring, basically had my own personal field of dreams, and I just got in there and got to work. Thankfully, I'm married to another Hall of Famer who can pick up and body slam me, which you can't say for a lot of wives. <laughs> rival, they both live in Asheville, so they'd come and they'd get in there with me and they'd put me through my paces. But there you have it, folks. Wow. Returns that but even then, even with all that, I do remember the rumors. I do. It wasn't concrete, but there were rumors that Edge was going to return at that Royal Rumble. So even with him kind of for the most part them keeping it under wraps there were still rumors being tossed around and i remember watching videos about it i, I didn't put too much thought into it because i was like uh, if he returns cool if he don't it is what it is but when he did it was such a memorable moment comment down below let me know what is a genuine shocking return for you even if it was leaked online if it was you know you've seen a video or or whatever the case may have been someone told you a friend told you it still genuinely shocked you when that person returned even if you did hear about it or if you didn't hear about it if it wasn't they weren't listed on this video let me know down below because there's been some fantastic returns that people really didn't know and it's it, it shocked you but I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel Road to 150K. And I'm still here in speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion World. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.